I want to give you the Sultan's secret to losing weight as I was close to 260 pounds and got down to about 200 and then I gained 12 pounds back as kind of a rebound but the secret is this I drank two liters actually two soda stream bottles which is a liter each of green tea every day literally what I did was I put water right from the dispenser in my refrigerator filled it up and I put the tea bag in it put the top on and let it sit drove to work by the time I got to work the water was amber to brown golden in color and I would drink that throughout the day two bottles did that for a couple years now everyone wants to lose weight fast this is not losing weight fast but I guess in the light of a lifetime it's pretty fast and I have kept it off with my drinking of white tea and green tea I get organic green tea organic white tea and I only drink literally uh, I put one tea bag in each now right now I I have a uh, it's not a thermos it's basically just a stainless steel bottle that I filled up with water I put a white tea tea bag in it and and this was 10 minutes ago by the time I get to work I'll transfer it to just a plastic bottle or a Nalgene bottle which has a smaller spout that's a pretty big spout and when you have the Crosby going on. I don't want to drink tea through my mustache. And that will be gone by noon. I have another one that I have that'll be gone by the time I get out of work. Am I peeing like crazy? Not like crazy, but I'm peeing in proportion to the amount of liquid that I'm using. Am I exercising anymore? Not really. Not really. I noticed that since I lost all the weight and I still have to lose even more, I'm happy I'm below 200. Uh, that was hard to do. Getting down to 212 was hard. I was at 226 for the longest time. That was like a stopping point. So losing 25 pounds, boom, just went off like that. Uh, getting down to 212, that was pretty... Uh, that, that was the next challenge. And then the hardest challenge was just getting down to... Um, 200 just beating 200 so I kind of did a happy dance when I stepped on the scale I was 199 one day and then two days later I was 198.5 so between me and my doctor she wants me to be at 185 to 190 as a former athlete who has some solid muscle mass and used to go to the gym every day and and deadlift and, and bench press and do military presses and just like was just interested in being solid as a rock and, and as big as possible uh, naturally steroid free um, my goal now is just to be athletic flexible be able to have a full day of work out in the yard move things help people uh, and not have the aches and pains as I'm closer to 60 than I am to 50 so let me put it that way. So two liters seems like a lot to a lot of people. I know there's the gallon jug people. Believe me, you do that for a short time. You don't do it every day. I don't care what anyone says. Everyone who says, oh, I drink at least a gallon of water a day. I guarantee you they don't do that every day. They might have done it for a while or it seems like they're drinking 128 ounces. They're not. Let's get real. Let's get real about that. Nobody does. Nobody sustains that level of water drinking unless you're working outside and you're constantly sweating which I'm not now that the fall weather is here I find myself sweating less which means I use less baking soda and cornstarch deodorant on my armpits which I never smell never ever have BO never ever never happens but if you want to lose weight fast and when I say fast that's a relative term I'm not talking about by next week let's like for instance I, I did hashtag wizard by winter it's not quite winter yet but let's just say January 1st is going to be winter when did I start hat when did I start doing hashtag wizard by winter was it like in maybe July or August I was giving myself six months I notice when I get older 
I make more realistic goals. So literally, I got another month and a half to go, and it's gonna be wizardish. It really is. I love my beard now more than I ever have. Now I've done fasting on and off throughout the years. I'm gonna do it regularly. I'm gonna do it like once a quarter. So about every three months, I'm gonna do a three-day fast. The five-day fast, five-day fast is rough <laughs> socially. Unless you isolate yourself, unplug from everything, the five-day fast is kind of hard and I'm wrapping that sucker up right now. And believe me, my energy is gone by noon with a five-day fast. It's just history. So always be careful. Look at your calendar before you fast and see if it's feasible. This past, this fast that I'm in right now wasn't as realistic and feasible as I thought it would be because I have to work. And I like being energetic when I work with people. And I like, um, and I like being creative and energetic and talkative with my clientele and guests and when I have to sell. And I haven't been that way. Uh, and, and I peter out pretty quick. But let me challenge you to do this. Just take your average, what, 16 ounce water bottle? You know, like when you buy a bottle of spring water, okay? And you don't have to keep buying water. Just take water from your tap, that's fine. Or um, filtered water from your refrigerator or something like that, that would work. Fill it up, put a tea bag in it. Green tea or white tea, okay? And just let it sit for a few hours. Drink it throughout the day. Start with that. Start with that and then go to a liter then go to um, two liters, but work your way. Everything is increments. I've noticed that as I've gotten older. Please listen to me, young fella and young woman. Incremental. Everything is incremental. Think metrics. Think metrics are basically the lines on a ruler. They're the days on a calendar. Um, if you say, I want to lose 50 pounds by next Friday, guess what? You're setting yourself up for failure. So please don't do that. You might say, I want to lose 50 pounds by next summer. That's a possibility. Maybe a more realistic possibility would be 50 pounds by the summer of 2018. And just say, you know, say, let me lose 25 pounds by next summer. And you'll find that when you set more realistic goals, they have to be a little crazy. Goals have to be crazy if they're just totally believable and doable, then you kind of get bored with your goals. That's why I used to say, if people don't laugh at your goals, then your goals are too small. You need a, you need a little bit of shock value with your goals to make them interesting and keep you pursuing them. You got me on that? Make them a little bit shocking. That way you're throwing down the gauntlet to yourself and you're betting against yourself, not anyone else. So that's how I lost literally almost 60 pounds. And my workouts at the gym are, I do more on the mat, and this, is, this has happened in the past five years. I would say 90% of my workouts at the gym are on the mat doing yoga and Pilates inspired work. I don't do yoga, I don't do Pilates, but it's yoga and Pilates inspired. So I do stretches and I hold them and I pulse them and I kind of cross train the stretching. It's, it's almost like the, um, the stretching version of interval training, high intensity. Now I haven't, I used to do more in high intensity interval training when I did, uh, when I was at the beach a lot and I would be, I would do a fast walk from jetty to jetty, and then I would say, okay, from now till the, from here to the next jetty, I'm gonna sprint as fast as I can. And I would just like tear down the beach and just run to the next jetty and then slow down and then use the next distance between the jetties. Those are the rock things that go out in the water. I would use the next jetty section to, to kind of like, get my heart back to normal. And then the next one, sprint. It's just explosive sprinting. And this is barefoot, this is no sneakers. This is just bathing suit on, just tearing down. And in the sunshine, it's beautiful. Sunshine empowers me. We're gonna talk about vitamin D and its role in your mood uh, in the future. That's gonna be another thing. Vitamin D and sunshine and your mood. 
let's let's get back on uh, weight. What happens when you lose weight? You feel better. You fit back into old clothes. You don't feel your stomach when you bend over. You have better sex. That way better sex. Way every everything is better from uh, from technique, just from how you move and groove with your partner, to the actual um, the actual end result. Now. When you're lighter, you enjoy the process more. Think about this. When you're heavier, it's all about getting off. And I know I don't usually talk like this, but I might as well. When you're heavier, the goal is to just get off as quick as possible or get there as quick as possible. Uh, when you're lighter, you can enjoy the process more. That's There's just less body getting in the way and you take your time, you feel lighter. And, you know, you have your glass of ice water on the nightstand, two, two bottles of water on the nightstand, and you're having a great time. And you feel free, and you're working up a solid, healthy sweat, making love. And I will tell you right now, man, there's nothing like a great session with your partner, with your wife, uh, and then sweating it out, feeling great, laughing, feeling good, enjoying the process and the end result, okay? And then when you just happen to step on the scale and you're a pound lighter and you're like, whoa, I just lost weight having sex. Well, son of a gun. And then it just becomes like one of your favorite exercises. You could skip a day at the gym because your love life includes stretching and and resistance exercises and cardio and all that stuff and there's it's no surprise why in some cultures that are uh, super healthy eating and they drink uh, tonic teas these people are having sex till they die you hear me these people these if they live long enough, these people are, are making love at 80, 90, and 100 years old. Holy cow. Now, don't picture that. Please, get that thought out of your head, of picturing that couple, that 90-year-old couple. But you're going to be there someday. And you're going to be the 90-year-old couple someday. Lose weight, feel better, have better sex, think clear. It's going to happen, okay? You can do it. Talk to you later. Bye.